In this video, we create a Spring OAuth 2 client and have the client interact with the Spring authorization server from the previous videos. First we are going to go over the Spring authorization server code. We will start with the Maven POM XML file. As in all the videos we use the latest version of Spring Boot. This is now 3.0.1. The Java version is 17. And the dependencies. Spring Boot Starter Web. And Spring Security OAuth 2 Authorization Server. In the Application Properties file we only have Server Port 9000. Finally we have the Security Config class. We have two Security Filter Chain Beans with the default configuration. The user details service returns an in-memory user details manager. The password encoder is a no-op password encoder. Registered client repository returns in-memory registered client repository. With the following fields. Client ID. Client secret. Scope. Redirect URI. Client authentication method and authorization grant type. Furthermore, authorization server settings, JWT decoder, and JWK source which is used with the static methods generate RSA and generate RSA key to secure the access token. The second part of the code is the Spring OAuth 2 client. Again, we start with the Maven POM XML file. Spring Boot version 3.0.1 Java version 17 And the dependencies Spring Boot Starter Web And Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 Client In the application properties we have the following configuration Server Port Provider Client ID Client Secret Scope Authorization grant type and issuer URI. All data must match the settings in the Spring Authorization Server. Then we have the Security Config class with the Security Filter Chain Bean. Any requests are authenticated. Login page and OAuth 2 client with defaults. Finally, we have the Welcome Controller with one method welcome. We can now start the Spring Authorization Server and the Spring OAuth 2 client and see in the browser if everything works. We have started the two projects and are ready to test. We start in the browser with the endpoint of the Spring OAuth 2 client. Localhost 8080. We are automatically redirected to the login page of the Spring Authorization Server. Localhost 9000. We can now log in with user and password we are automatically redirected to the spring oauth 2 client page and see the welcome message in the next video we are going to integrate the spring resource server thanks for following